it's interesting because uh, I interviewed Michael Thompson. He was one of the leaders of the Aryan Brotherhood in prison. I saw that interview. You saw the interview? Yes, sir. And just to note, this is not a racist guy. He actually turned against the, the Aryan Brotherhood mm -hmm. and got a bunch of them convicted. Uh, you know, one of the things he had problems with was, you know, they were pro having a problem with one of the dudes that was snitching. They ended up killing the father and they wanted to kill the family. And he was just like, man, I, I didn't sign up for this shit. The original discussion, for instance, about killing Richard Barnes, Steve Barnes's father, uh, was that uh, his wife and daughter be assassinated. And, um, you know, I was a part of that conversation. I was a part of that circle. And um, it went totally contrary to everything that uh, the brand was supposed to stand for and certainly what I believed I stood for by way of um, what a person would or would not do. And the taking of innocent life is bad enough, but uh, the very idea of contemplating taking a woman and her child's life um, was to so totally foreign to me that I argued against it. Ultimately, um, the only concession, I suppose, if you want to call it that, I got out of that is uh, they moved away from killing his wife and daughter to killing his mother and father. And ultimately what it ended up with was killing his father. And um, I was actually the only one that voted against that. So, um, yeah, it, it um, was very instrumental in um, my decision to step away from the brand. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, that I'm, dude yeah. did that, man, and that came back on him, that karma. Yeah. But we talked you about- You want to kill some more people, some innocent children yeah. and women? Yeah, for was, what? Because it, it, it was fucked up. Yeah, it was fucked my up. Life. Yeah, it was a powerful interview because, you know, we've always gotten sort of like, you know, the black, Italian, you know, even the Asian- you know, or the Mexican gangster perspective. Here's the actual white mm -hmm. gangster. Hey. You know, one of the heads yeah. of the biggest white gang yeah. in prison. And, Were yeah. you around the Aryan Brotherhood? Yeah, I was around the Aryan Brotherhood, the Mexican Mafia, the Black Gorilla family. I had a, a BG uh, Black Gorilla family as a celly. The brother was older, but he taught me a lot, like when I first got there. So, yeah, I was around every all of them. How... How serious is that? Like, as a as a black man, can you go and have lunch with an Aryan Brotherhood guy? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not. It. You're laughing at me, right? Look, now. look. <laughs> not even with the Hispanics, you know what I mean. But on the low, because you respect, you have maybe talked to, spoken with, uh, listened to, learned from, and with somebody, and y'all got a cool relationship. You can do that shit on the low, like, right. but now like you'll make something and be like, set it on, you know, and your peep, the, the person that you are being forced to look at as an enemy is not really your enemy. That's how you know when you break bread, you communicate, you listen, you learn, you grow. That, that, and I learned that. I got some essays and some, you know, some white homies that was in there that nobody, you know, knew, but they was respectful people. They accepted, respected, and I accepted and respected where they coming from. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's sad that I had to go, go through that, but then again, it opens your eyes to the reality, man, like, what we go through on the street ain't got nothing. It is, it's totally different from in prison. And then that's why when the, the dude said he would rather sign uh, Dick, he, he wouldn't even sign a Diddy for a record deal. He is Hispanic. He was a rapper. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. yeah, so it's like that is ignorant to me because if you, if you rapping and you want a platform and need a deal and a black man come to you to offer you that deal, you gonna say no because he black? How, how? That's like needing a blood transfusion or you gonna die. And you say, I can't do it because I'm Jewish. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. That don't make sense. God wouldn't, 
He give me that blood. That's why I made it for it could be transfused and you can get some, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, so what would happen if you had a friend who was part of the Aryan Brotherhood and you yourself were not gang related? Not at all. I so never, so you, you're not a BGF not or a, a crib or a crisp, blood or, or nothing. You're just a they regular. They call me a, a non-affiliate. Non-affiliate. So here you are, you're a non-affiliate. And you and your white Aryan Brotherhood friend decide to have some meatloaf together. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's still black, though. Exactly. It's still white. It's still Mexican. It's still Asian. And and and, and Asians and uh, Samoans, they fuck with the blacks usually. Excuse my language. And But the Mexicans, they mess with the whites usually. You mm. see what I'm saying? And they really could eat together cook together, sit outside, we'll sit on the same side together, but not with us. Huh. So there's a divide between blacks and whites and Mexicans. It's a divide between blacks and others huh. and Hispanics and whites. So the others could be Samoan, Asian. They, they could eat with us. We could, you know what I mean? sit down, watch sports, get t tattoos and all that. That's where the divide come in at. You know what I mean?